I'm Professor Melita Gordon. I live and work in Malawi at the Malawi Liverpool Welcome Unit. Uh, we have been working for two decades on bloodstream infections and we found that 10 years ago we had an epidemic outbreak of multi-drug resistant typhoid and we subsequently were able to describe that this has come all the way across the continent of Africa. Multi-drug resistant typhoid jumped from Asia to Africa and it's been causing a big problem elsewhere. We're a high incidence site uh, with something like 400 to 100,000 cases a year. So both because of the burden of disease and also because of the threat of multi-drug resistance, we needed to do something about this. At the same time, a new generation of typhoid vaccines called typhoid conjugate vaccines has come through. They were pre-approved by the WHO and we were able to get funding from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to do a trial of these vaccines for Africa. Uh, which was very exciting. So we started in 2018, we vaccinated 28,000 children in two areas of Blantyre, Ndurandi and Zingwangwa, which are both high density urban parts of town. Um, and we followed those children up for between 18 and 24 months. And what we have been able to report recently is several very important outcomes. First and most important, the vaccine is extremely safe. There were no serious adverse events that were linked to the vaccine. There was no excess of adverse events in the vaccine group compared to the control group. The second is it was extremely efficacious. Uh, we had 84% effectiveness in what we call the per protocol analysis, 81% effectiveness in the intention to treat analysis. These are really great figures. Um, and so we're very thrilled about that. The third thing that was important is that um, in the past, I think the burden of typhoid in preschool children has been somewhat underestimated. And um, we were able to show that this vaccine works very well in the preschool children as well as the school age children. That's obviously very important from a policy point of view and from a national rollout point of view. This protection was going over two years. It's, um, the protection lasted for at least two years. Um, so now we're going to continue to follow those children up for longer to see how long the vaccine continues to protect them. But these are all excellent news for Malawi. Uh, the impact that we hope that this will have will be across the continent. And we anticipate that these data that we have produced um, right now from the trial will also encourage many other African governments to roll out this vaccine in a similar way.